Peace everybody, this is Julia from allforreborns.com. I'm so excited to show you four new reborn baby dolls here in my studio. I have been working on these babies for a oh, long time, <laughs> just off and on over the summer, even before the summer started, and I finally have completed them, and I need to get them out of my nursery because, as you guys know, I've been working on a lot of silicone babies, and I just really need the space, so I hope this lighting is okay to show you guys them. I, I know I have some glares because I have lights coming from all different directions, but I just want to show you guys them in a video, and I have pictures of them on my website as well. So we'll start over here with this first little baby this is Zora I made Zora from an Audrey Stoetti kit and she has one fourth limbs and so she's super super poseable and the kit's name was I think Jamie look at those blue eyes guys she has beautiful blue eyes and then something that I just love to do is paint hair and I loved paint hair when I go to shows I always get so many people I love to see the reaction people go oh, that's painted hair so I really think that um, I should just do what I love <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna do more painted hair and also combi hair I love combi hair but I'm trying to show you what one-fourth limbs means because I know there's a lot of new people out there or maybe you just don't know what it is one-fourth limb is when the limb is so full limbs would be all the way up to there one-fourth limb is when it just comes a little bit past the wrist like almost up to the elbow and then you have three quarters limbs, which is past the elbow, right? So she has one quarter limbs. Her ankles, I mean, her legs are the same way. It goes up past her ankle. Let me see if I can grab a little footsie out of her pajamas to show you guys. Come on, Zora, don't be stingy. There we go. There's a little toots. There's a little tootsies. All right, so this is her little one-fourth leg. Now, what I love about the one-fourth limbs, which is actually my favorite, um, is how poseable they are. You can bend them, and then when you let go, they move back into positions that make it look like the dolls are really moving. And it reminds me so much... <laughs> don't hit your sister. Don't hit your sister. Um, it reminds me so much of a full-body silicone baby doll, the way that they move. They're so floppy. So that is Zora, and I have all of these dolls, including Zora, at a special price because, like I said, I need them to get out of the studio. All right, let's go on to Anna. Hello, Anna. Anna used to be my most popular reborn baby doll custom, and now Uriah is. So I love Anna. I love the chance to create her, and I actually had an extra Anna kit sitting around and so I said let's make her for old time's sake so I gave her the combi hair it might be hard to see but it's pretty faint and her hair was so beautifully painted that I kind of didn't even want to do the combi hair but she has a little curly combi hair on top and then her limbs are three quarters and on the bottom I gave her full legs and she is I forgot to say Zora is a newborn size and Anna is kind of a small newborn. She can fit preemie and also newborn. I love her little cat um, onesie that she has on. And then next up are the little twins that I've been working on forever. This is the Zane twin. There's the Zane kit um, from Marita Winters. I love Marita's twin. Um, sort of. <laughs> I love Marita's little tiny babies that she makes. And anyway, um, these little guys, I've had them for a while. I started painting on them in the spring, and I just finally gave them hair and put them together. So they have the little painted hair. And I actually made these pajamas guys I am so proud of myself I used to sew when my oldest daughter was a little baby I would sew her skirts and dresses and all kind of stuff and anyway I really wanted some clothes for these guys and I wanted something unique so I decided to give it a try and I made pajamas for the little guys say hi <laughs> so look at his little pajamas so cute so now I'm like yay I can make clothes for my mini silicone babies that I make too 
so they these guys are at a special price as well um, I really like them they're about 10 inches long with three quarter arms and also with full legs so if you're looking for something tiny and fun for your collection and these are our vinyl they're mini vinyl all of these are vinyl dolls all right and last but not least hello little beautiful girl um i am trying to remember her name yes her name is taya i honestly do not remember her kid i'm sorry but she's beautiful what i like about her is that she has a look that is kind of like a um biracial baby or like a ethnic baby or a Caucasian baby like she just has a really unique look to her I really like it my um stuff is and so she looks the light is really reflecting on her right now there we go so um go ahead and check out the pictures of all these babies she is in newborn clothing she is longer however she but she fits the newborn well so I don't think she would fit zero to three months and she's a chunky chunky girl she's pretty heavy so anyway guys these are the babies I have for adoption I am getting ready to get ready for the Kansas doll show and so I'm just trying to make room in my studio because I'll be making some silicone babies to take to the show and I hope to see some of you guys at the show if you're going to be going and Please go ahead and check out my website, allforreborns.com, for more pictures and information about adopting one of these cute little reborn baby dolls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support and your love. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and be blessed.